But the cities of Aikney, Johnston, Ames and Boone say storm damage is so bad. They're telling people not to travel through town unless it is absolutely necessary. And that's because of storm debris and power lines still in the roads. Ames, Boone and Perry saw some significant damage. KCCI's Chris Gothner was in all three communities today. He joins us now live from Perry. Chris. Yeah, and this is probably some of the worst damage that photojournalist Courtney Kinser and I saw today. Take a look, all these bricks that ended up on the windshield of this SUV came from all the way up there. The roof blew off here and there was plenty more damage to show you up north. Take a listen. First, there was the siren, followed by wicked winds and a wall of water walloping Ames Monday morning. Lights flickered and eventually gave out amid the torrential downpour. In its wake, the severe storm brought down trees and power lines and tore the gate off this railroad crossing. It was the same story further west in Boone. Linda Canute came home, did this. Tree limbs took over her front yard, broke her windows, and got her sister's truck, too. Not a pleasant sight. Didn't like that at all. A few blocks away, Peggy Watkins' old pine tree came down as she rode out the storm at home. But fortunately, she's okay. Had it broken off at a different angle, it might be a different story. We're doing well, the Lord blessed. We are safe. Perry got hit hard too with plenty of downed trees of its own. Perhaps the worst damage was at the Tin Pig Tavern downtown. The storm tore its roof off, sending bricks crashing into the ground and into an SUV. David Sheffer was in the building. And then it sounded like a bomb went off inside. Like just, that's when we took off and went down to the basement. And then looked out and saw that. Sheffer says reopening his family's restaurant will take at least six months if they rebuild it all. We don't know what to do. Between COVID and now this, it's been a tough year. 2020 can just, I'm done with it. I'm going to go to bed and just wait till 2021. Now to add insult to injury here, Sheffer tells me that his dad just got this new car here, just a thousand miles on the odometer. And he says this isn't even the first time the roof has blown off here, although this is certainly the worst time, he says. Fortunately, though, everyone is okay.